Yo, what's up guys? Tyler W here, and today I'm here to teach you the gun cock or the double inward case snare. Now I'm here. Tyler W, Beatbox Channel. Now the gun cock or the double inward case snare is a fun and popular sound that you can add to your arsenal to give your beats a little more variety. Now before I begin teaching the sound, I do want to say that when I first learned this, I had a lot of difficulty doing it. Now I don't know if it was just because I had to teach myself it and figure it all out for myself, but I'm hoping that the ways I explain it in this tutorial help you guys to learn it and it gives you less difficulty than I had when learning it. But I will say that after figuring this sound out, it actually breaks down into two easy and simple steps. Step one is actually going to be an inward rim shot. Step two is going to be an inward case snare. Now I'm not going to teach the inward case snare in this tutorial because I actually already have a tutorial for it and that is going to be in a card right here and it's actually going to be in the description below. So you're going to need to learn that sound to get this gun cock sound down. Alright, so for the inward rim shot, what we're going to do is we're going to take our tongue and we're going to take the back portion of our tongue. So imagine this being the tip of your tongue, we're going to take the back portion of our tongue and we're going to put that to the roof of our mouth. So to kind of visually demonstrate what I'm talking about with the inward rim shot, what we're going to do is show you a diagram real quick. Now up here it's going to represent the roof of your mouth and this is your tongue. It's wonderfully drawn, I know. This is the tip of your tongue and this is the back portion of your tongue that I'm talking about that you need to put to the roof of your mouth. So you're going to place this back portion of your tongue to the roof of your mouth, build pressure right here by trying to you know, suck in air, and you're going to release that pressure, which is going to create the sound. So what you want to do is do that. You're going to build pressure, release it, and you're going to create the inward rim shot. If you guys already know the outward rim shot, the it's actually going to be the same exact tongue positioning. You're just going to be doing that inwards. Once you got the tongue positioning down, what you're then going to do is you're going to build pressure at that point where your tongue is touching the roof of your mouth. And you're going to release that inwards. Now, when I say that, I mean, you're not going to be breathing. You're just going to be kind of building pressure and releasing inwards. I'm going to be honest. My inward rim shot is not that clean, but it does sound like so after you guys got the inward rim shot, what you're going to need next is the inward case snare. Now, like I said, I'm not going to teach that right here, but I do have a tutorial for it. Link in the description. Go learn that and then come back here. Or if you already know the inward case snare, then you're good to go. So after you guys have learned both the inward rim shot and the inward case snare, what you're going to do is combo those together. Now, when you combo them, you're going to do them in such a way that you're going to do the inward rim shot first and then the inward case snare. Now, when you combo these sounds, you're going to want to do them in one motion. Now, when I say that, I want to kind of show that right here. My arm is going to be my diagram of the tongue. We're going to have my elbow being the portion of your tongue where you do the inward rim shot, the back portion, and the, the front of my arm, my hand is going to be the tip of your tongue where you kind of, you know, position your inward case snare. And when you do it, you're going to want to do one motion where it goes like this now doing it all in one motion is really what got me confused when I first learned the sound and really what you gotta do is break it down just kind of do it slow to start and eventually you'll get it all in one motion so if you have to just go and eventually you'll get it in one motion. It really just takes practice. So I guess I should say that when you're doing the sound, you really don't need to breathe in any air at all. So when you're doing your inward case snare, do the one that you don't breathe in with. Don't do that. Do that. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys learn the gun cock or the double inward case snare. If you guys have any questions at all, comment down below with those questions and I will attempt to answer them. If you guys liked this video or it helped you learn the sound, click that like button because it does help a lot. If you guys think anyone else wants to learn this sound or this could help anyone else learn this, share this video with them. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already and have a good day.